Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Friday, which means brand new season 7 reaction video. Today we're reacting to episode 8 in... 8? Why did I say it like that? 18 of The Next Step, and it's called Just Do It. I see, I keep reading it as Just Do It. It's called Just Duet, but I'm guessing it's a play on words as in Just Do It, so I'm guessing it's going to be something like um, Just Take the Opportunity, Just Do It, and it's a play on words because there'll probably be duets in this episode as well. Obviously the last episode was quite an exciting and eventful one. It finished off with the reveal that Michelle was now back at the studio and that she she was being like labelled as Emily's secret admirer um, and obviously we're getting romantic vibes from that so I'd like to see it addressed whether it is a romantic thing or whether it's just a friendship thing because otherwise it's just kind of leading us on and nothing's going to come off it. We now know that one of their group dances is going to be to the song One Dance from season 7. So I'd love to see them rehearsing that as a big group. But like I said, how we think it's going to be duets, um, I think the theory was, yeah, in the season 7 B trailer you see Rochelle and Kingston doing a duet in front of Nick. They'll have a duet and then we realised that people were probably going to get paired up. So we're going to have loads of different pairs doing duets for whatever reason. Then they'll pick the duet. But it's kind of confusing because obviously Lily and Kingston were chosen to do the Nationals duet when they thought they were still going to Nationals and Henry was picked to do the solo so why not just keep it as he um, Kingston and Lily and Henry? I mean I get like it's not Nationals anymore but surely that would just be the logical response. I'm hoping they at least say oh now that we're going to Dance Many we're changing our plans rather than just recasting out of nowhere. Oh last episode as well Jude and Cleo both well, we know that those two are very much into each other. I'd love to see their relationship develop in this episode too. Let's just get started and we'll see what this episode is like. What? Nick called us in and we're not sure why. Probably to discuss Dance Mania and rehearse. Oh, we've got Kenzie back for this episode as well. Thank goodness. She'd been missing for a while. And I think I've figured out what dances they're going to be using for the resurrection round. The resurrection round. Please don't tell me that's anything like the redemption round at World of Dance. I don't want it to be like a complete clone of World of Dance. It's alright to be inspired by it, but that seems a little bit too similar for me. Um, but I do like how Nick is doing his research and everything. The only thing is, surely this is Angela's job because he hired Angela to come in as a partner because she knew so much about Dance Mania. Where is she? Like, surely this is what she should be helping with right now. If you're eliminated from the competition, this is your one chance to get back in. The audience gets to save a team from the group category and one from the solo duet category. Then the chosen group competes against the chosen soloist or duet. Right, so there's a group category and a solo duet category. So we know there's going to be a group dance, a solo and a duet, I'm presuming, from the next step. If Rochelle is doing the solo and she is the one who has to do the redemption round, that is a complete rip-off of World of Dance because that's exactly what Briar had to do. But to make the resurrection run fair, the chosen group can only select one or two dancers to go up against the chosen solo or duet. Then the chosen group... Oh! Wait, so there'll be a group knocked out and a soloist and a duet knocked out and they have to go against each other? So, is that, is that what I mean? I don't know, I'm a bit confused. Maybe I'm just being really stupid today. Then, both teams are given a style of dance and there's no way to know what it'll be ahead of time. If you win, then you're resurrected. <laughs> oh my god, this is so much information. Okay, for example, the next step, were knocked out. And if they came back for the resurrection round, they'd only pick a small group to then go against a soloist and a duet, or a duet. So maybe that's the Alice in Wonderland dance because we already know that Kenzie and Lily probably aren't in that because they weren't in costume might be that one and they'll tell them they have to do musical theatre or something like that you know just something that involves these massive costumes that you wouldn't normally pick to dance in um, and that's what they're gonna have to do that is my theory the next step's not gonna need that because we're gonna go all the way <laughs> you're not Kenzie because how many rehearsals have you been to none boom roasted hang on who are we missing again we haven't even got full age we're missing Lily and Ozzy oh and Finn do we care about Finn. No, I'm, j I'm joking. We're missing Finn, Ozzy, and Lily. I feel like they should definitely be here. Now, according to my research, I've made a top list of all the styles that might show up this season. I'm going to assign you to duets, and the best duet is going to represent us for the resurrection round. Ah, okay. I understand the duets now, and I actually think this is really good of Nick. This is, this is logical. This is clever. I'm going to do so well that Nick chooses me as the soloist for the resurrection round. This solo is 100% mine. Bring it. 
they're making duets and they're arguing about who's going to do the solo. I feel like you just both need to concentrate and just do the duet. Like, the solos aren't being talked about today. He's choosing me. Oh, no, he's choosing me. I guess there's only one way to settle this. Dance battle! <laughs> What? What 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 was that please? KB Troop, I'm here. Hello, sorry, I didn't forget about you. Nick has so much on his plate today. So literally, Emily take control of nationals. Nick and Angela taking control of Dance Maiden. Why is Nick running backwards and forwards doing literally everything at the studio? But I'm glad we're actually doing stuff for this episode. This is good. I've got loads of people in it. Emily told me that Michelle was her mystery gift giver. Do you know what? I completely forgot about the whole Michelle thing because it didn't pick off from that. Unless Nick had said that, I probably wouldn't have even remembered. How many plots are in this? We've got Rochelle and Kingston rivalry, them all making duets, B Troop folks on nationals, Nick trying to sort everyone out, and now Emily and Michelle as well. So you're going to be doing a small group dance. Nice! <laughs> so just make sure to include all of the elements that they need, okay? What are the elements that they need? Is there somewhere we can look up the required elements? <laughs> Thank you, Cleo. Where's the rule book, sorry? Hey, Nick, is there going to be a solo for the- Rochelle, Kingston, get out! Like, why would you interrupt and- Rochelle, literally, she would moan if b had walked into her rehearsal and been like, Oh, um, I'm going to do the solo at Nationals. Get out, go do what you've been set to do, and let Nick do his job, please. You just battle for the battle? solo. Battle. battle. No, we're not doing a dance battle, please. We don't need to do ba dance battles. No. If Rochelle and Kingston both want the solo, I'm gonna have to put on a mock dance mania challenge for them to see who do the best. I knew exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. No, you literally don't, Nick. You you just tell them we're not doing solos today. We're doing duets. Go back upstairs, or I think studio A's upstairs. I don't know. Go back to studio A and do the duet I set you. Then go to the office. Get the um nationals rules thing go back down give it to b troop done put your foot down nick so much has changed like kingston and lily just gonna say michelle looks absolutely stunning michelle is a goddess i love seeing you but why are you here hang on hang on hang on so when they're in studio a of a night time because they're wearing different clothes now what happened they, they just left surely she would have asked that when they were down well when they last met the producers decided to give me my own dance tour and I need someone to help me with the contract. That's cute. I like that idea, but um, couldn't you have just called? Hey, Em, I have a contract that I need you to look over, please, because I know you went to business school. Okay, Michelle, that sounds absolutely fine. Come on in. I'll do that for you. Why would you need to send presents uh, saying you're a secret admirer, anonymous notes, and then say... Just hear me out. J just. I quit. I quit today. <laughs> on page 33, it says you have to choreograph your own dances. And on page 27, it says they own your choreo. Own it. I mean, this, this is criminal. Is this relevant? I, I fully don't understand why Michelle's last line in the last episode was just hear me out. And it's all over a contract that she wants looking over. Last reaction video, I was rolling around on my bed and screaming. I regret doing that now. <laughs> what, what was the point? Okay, first style is ballet. Well, Kingston, you've only just graduated baby ballet, haven't you? So I think Rochelle has this one. <laughs> Next style is the receipt for the hat. <laughs> the receipt for the hat. It's funny. You're just trying to get into my head. I know that the stars are she's just upsetting. Why are all the dancers actually so rude? Don't, you don't tap people. You don't, like, I hate when children do that to me and they're like tapping me to try and get my attention while I'm talking to someone else. Summer, you, you're, you're nearly an adult. Yeah, yeah, it's on my desk. Try it. I wish there were two of me, honestly. Then I could help Summer and a -true. There are two of you. Um, the other person is called Angela. The other person is called Emily. She's having a meeting with Michelle. It's not even an important meeting. She's catching up with her. We don't have time for catch-ups. Catch up in your own time, Emily. But A-Troop's more important right now, and I'm still no closer to deciding who gets the solo. 
I'm gonna need another test. <sighs> Literally, you have the former face of Absolute Dance who was on track to be Miss National Soloist. You called her a star, and you said the team would be useless without her. And then Kingston, who's literally just shown an interest in a solo this episode. So just make a decision as the studio owner and be done with it. Rochelle and Kingston shouldn't have a priority over everything else when what they're doing wasn't even instructed. How are we supposed to choreograph this Nationals dance? Doesn't seem like he cares about us at all. He has so much to do but I, I actually get where someone's coming from. They just need to actually have an allocated teacher for their allocated group. Like Emily needs to look after B Troop, Nick needs to look after A Troop with Angela and just like Nick can't do it all by himself. Okay, we can watch this last behind the scenes, okay? That was good. That was good. Let's watch another one. No one's doing what Nick's asked. And then another video and then another one and then soon it's been an hour. We did that like three hours ago. I feel like Kenzie and Heath's scene should have been split into two. Like before they said that they've been watching the videos for like three hours and after the three hour mark. If they split it into two, like it showed a little bit, then you show B Troop rehearsing, which is what they're doing now, and then go back to Heath and Kenzie who are still watching the videos, it would make it seem longer. We're repurposing a dance we've had for a while, which is great for me because I already have the choreo down. Love it. Love how there's a reference to Jude struggling with choreography as well, using their initiative. Very good. But where is the rest of B Troop, please? I know it's a small group, but Nick said it was a small group after they'd all arrived. So were the boys just not going to turn up that day and hope that it was a small group? Because they were all excited, so they clearly didn't know beforehand. So I have no clue what, like... I don't know. I don't think it's a strong episode whatsoever, to be honest. I think there's too many plot holes. I forgot to say as well, are Clea and Jude together now? Are they dating? Because no one's mentioned that in this episode, and that was a big thing of last one. No, I don't think you understand. I'm trying to get the best deal for Michelle. Right now, I'm doing something called negotiating. Basically, it just means I ask for what I want, and if they tell me no, I ask for it again. Do you know what I feel like is going to happen? Emily's gonna negotiate to the point where they're like, okay, we don't actually want Michelle anymore because ultimately companies and brands don't care about you that much. If you're gonna be difficult to work with, they're just gonna be like, okay, we'll find someone else. I feel like this is not gonna have a happy ending. We just appreciate you going back and forth with us and we also really appreciate the fast responses. But I quit. What was the point in coming, Michelle? If you're just gonna quit after all of Emily's effort she's just put in, Oh, God. Why would you do that? Because the contract was terrible and you made me realize that. I'm worth more than that. Fair enough though, Michelle. Props to her. Like, at least it didn't drag out for absolutely ages. She made her mind up. Okay, B Troop, let's see what you got. I've only got a couple of minutes. I've got to get back to the... Um... Let me guess. A Troop? Summer is being so rude, you know? Like, old Summer wasn't like this at all. She's talking back. She's... Um, tapping Nick, it's like respect the fact that he is your authoritative figure. He is basically your teacher. You don't speak back to them like that. Dear me, all of these like kids need a, a sitting down and talking to. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I asked for a lyrical dance. If Nick does this thing that I absolutely hate people doing where they don't give any kind of brief and then they say, oh, I did give you a brief, actually. Oh. What was that? Nationals asked for a lyrical dance. What is Nick talking about? Nobody said anything about lyrical. I thought B Troop had it together. Clearly I was wrong. Nick, why are you actually being like such a, like, <laughs> even if he thought he did say it was a lyrical dance, you don't say, oh, I thought you guys had it together, see you later. You're meant to be the teacher, the authority figure, the studio owner, and you're just gonna walk off. Oh, hang on a second, Michelle. Michelle looks absolutely stunning. And is she gonna dance? Also, I'm guessing that B Troop have gone home now or something, seeing as Michelle and Emily are in Studio One where B Troop literally just were. Michelle has such great big ideas and I feel like I can go in and refine them and kind of work on the small details to actually make that happen. We just compliment each other. Hang on, is Michelle gonna go on tour and Emily's gonna manage her tour? I am so powerful. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. Do you wanna see it? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna see Michelle dance, yay! Like I said earlier, the secret admirer thing from last episode, is that not a thing anymore? Was are we not going to address the romantic undertones of that? Emily really made me realise that what oh, I miss Michelle so much. Oh, they're going to dance together. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I want to cry. Oh, I love them so much. My favourite.
favourite friends ever. I still don't want it to be romantic. I just love how strong their friendship is. I just wish they'd addressed the last episode. I know I keep saying it, but I wish they'd addressed what happened last episode. Yes, Piper, you get that aerial. It was harder than I thought running this place on my own. It takes a lot of work. That's why I'm glad I have Emily. She's definitely gonna leave. She's definitely gonna start her own tour with Michelle. We're not gonna make the best dance we can if you're pushing us aside like this. For all intents and purposes, B Troop is the new A Troop. We're the ones representing the next step at Nationals. Summer has a very valid point. I just wish she wasn't so rude. Rochelle and Kingston are such excellent dancers. I really hope this duet helps me set them apart and decide on the soloist. So, let me get this straight. Nick sets them all to do duets, and then Rochelle and Kingston decide that they want the solo, so now they're auditioning for the solo. What if Kenzie wanted the solo, or Heath? or Amy or Piper, are they just not gonna have a chance to audition for it at all because they've taken it upon themselves to tell Nick he has to do auditions? I don't get why Nick just didn't tell them in the first place, hey, um, we're not doing solos today, we're doing duets. I just realized, I completely forgot that Henry is missing as well from this episode. I am so sorry, Henry. But if Nick's picking the soloist now based on that duet, I honestly don't know because they're both practically the same. That's why picking a soloist from a duet is a bad idea because you you're a team, you're two people, you're meant to be one entity. You're not meant to look like two separate people in a duet. You're definitely going to be the Resurrection duet partners. Duet? Partners? Yeah. Dance Mean is not going to know what hit him. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, that's right, I'm avoiding the whole soloist thing altogether. Oh, Nick, this isn't how you deal with things. Let's create a tour together. I am so powerful. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. Michelle, I don't know about that. Emily, we ran a studio together. We went to regionals together. We ran a convention together. Michelle's offer is amazing, but I love the next step. It's my home. If Michelle is literally leaving now and we don't see her again in season seven, I'll be really annoyed because as I said, what was the point? Why give the impression that there was something romantic between them by labeling gifts as being from a secret admirer and Emily saying someone obviously had feelings for her? I think it's pretty obvious that you have feelings for me. The highlighters, the cards, the sushi. I mean, it's pretty obvious that you're in love with me. Clearly someone else is your secret admirer. To then not even address it in the next episode. Why even bother bringing Michelle back after such a good exit instead of writing Emily her own? It just seems very ill-fitting, as great as it was to see them together, because obviously I love Michelle, but something just really doesn't sit right with me about it. Do you know what I will say? It is very refreshing and very nice to see Emily be more vulnerable because I feel like they've swapped roles now. Michelle was the one who was debating whether to leave and saying she wasn't ready and now it's Emily saying that she's not ready. I like that we're seeing that side to Emily now. I don't know if I'm ready to leave home yet. So let's review the episode as a whole. I really don't like the fact and I don't understand why last episode Michelle was sending all these notes and it was implied that it was romantic and the fact that she was doing it anonymously just to talk about a contract because it wasn't to propose to well it, it just doesn't make sense that she said just hear me out that implies that there's something bad that's happened or that she needs to explain herself oh well actually they didn't even address the fact that supposedly Michelle hasn't even spoken to Emily in months because that's what Emily said and now they're just getting on like a house on fire. And I know some friendships are like that. Like I have friends I don't talk to for months and then when we get together, we're perfectly fine. It's like no time has passed. But Emily made kind of a point about the fact that she hasn't seen Michelle or heard of her, heard about her, heard from her for ages. I, I just feel like the two episodes didn't really connect very well. It was really annoying that all the dancers seem to just think that they can have one up on Nick and tell him what to do when he's meant to be the authority figure. Um, but I did like when Summer stood up to Nick and said that Beatrix deserve more respect because they do. In my personal opinion, I think they're better than A-Troop at this rate. I think they're more mature. I think that they produce better things. They have more meaningful scenes together. Um, and they also seem more motivated to actually do well. Um, I'm not really sure why there were characters missing once again. I obviously wouldn't have had that happen, but I am glad that there was Dance Mania rehearsals and preparation going on, and there was preparation for Nationals too. That is also a very good thing. Oh, Angela! 
don't know where she is because she would be a great help right now with all the stuff that's going on. Also, I didn't like that there was absolutely no mention of Cleo and Jude's relationship. Even if they just had, before Nick comes into their rehearsal, them all gossiping about it and them kind of playfully teasing the fact that they like each other. Just something. Yeah, I think the thing that most irritates me is the whole Michelle and Emily thing. But I like the idea of Emily leaving to be with Michelle and to be a business runner basically if she runs a tour with Michelle and Michelle got to dance I loved Michelle's dancing I loved her outfit for that yeah so it had good wait I didn't say many good points did I um I'm not really excited for next week but I'm gonna watch it anyway aren't I <laughs> if you enjoyed this video leave a like and a comment down below make sure you subscribe and follow me on my social medias I'm on Instagram at mockinggariana underscore and it's the same on Wattpad as well you can go read my stories there and I will see you on Sunday for a new video guys bye